Hi guys, it's Hanya here. Welcome to What to Cook Next. Today we're gonna make mushroom soup with dumplings. This is a really easy soup to make. In this recipe I'm gonna be using button mushrooms, but if you'd like to use other variety you are welcome to do that. Here are all the ingredients. I'm going to start with the chicken stock. I posted a full video tutorial on how I like to make my chicken stock. I'm also going to add some water. Depending on how you like your soup, if you like it a little thinner, you can add more liquid. I have here potatoes. I also peeled and uh, chopped carrots. I'm going to be using some fresh parsley. I have it sitting in the water to remove any dirt. And here are the mushrooms I'm going to be using. Like I mentioned before, you can use other variety. Here is celery and onion. If you don't have red onion, that's okay. Just use yellow cooking onion. I'm also going to add some pepper paste. I make my own pepper paste. You can also buy pepper paste in the grocery store. And I'll be adding some garlic as well. Don't forget the salt and pepper. So let's get started. First, I like to inspect all the mushrooms and check if there is any residual dirt. And then I remove the dirt with this little brush that is designed for cleaning mushrooms. Because you can really rinse off the mushroom under the running water because it gets really soggy. And then we can chop this up. So this is how I like to do it. Because I don't like to have huge chunks of mushrooms in the soup. So I like to chop everything fairly finely. Here are all the mushrooms. These are ready to go. Just set them aside. And now I'm going to show you how I like to prepare my uh, parsley. So what I'm doing here, I'm removing the leaves from the stems. I don't like to include stems in my dishes. And then we can cut it in half and chop it up. For the garlic, I'm going to dice the garlic. And now we are ready to start making the actual soup. You want to heat some olive oil in your pan and then add onion. I first like to cook the onion for about five minutes or so and then I add uh, carrots and uh, celery. Once you add the carrots and celery, you're gonna have to cook this on medium high heat for about uh, five to ten minutes or so, stirring occasionally. Season it with salt and pepper. I like to cook it until carrots are about knife tender and now we can add the mushrooms. Make sure that you lower the heat setting to low and now you want to stir this until all combined. At this point you can also add diced garlic. As the mushrooms cook they're gonna release some water. You can see now that they are reduced in volume and now I'm going to add some all-purpose flour. You want to stir this and cook it for about uh, one to two minutes on medium high until the flour taste is all cooked off. Now I'm adding my pepper paste and at this time we can also add chicken stock and water. Make sure that the chicken stock and water are hot or uh, warm. I wouldn't add them cold. And then we can add potatoes. 
Make sure that you season with salt and pepper. And now you're just gonna have to heat this up to simmer. If you'd like you can add more water and we're gonna cook it for several minutes until potatoes are fork tender. You can see it's starting to bubble there. Now I'm adding my chopped parsley. Check the potatoes and if they are done you're ready to go. We can remove this from the heat and now we can start working on the dumplings. So I'm heating up water with some salt. Here I have flour, I added a little bit of salt and I'm just going to add some water until we form a really dense dough. So you want to add the water gradually depending on what kind of flour you, you're working with. You may need more or less water. I'm using all-purpose flour, but you can option for other flour if you don't have all-purpose. Now you want to knead this for about a minute or two on your bench or work surface or I'm using my counter space, whatever you're using. And uh, you want to let it rest for about five minutes and now we are ready to make the dumplings. So flatten it out a little bit and then simply just drop these into the boiling water. These take maybe two minutes to cook or so. They really are done in no time. As you see, they are already starting to come up and they're floating on the top. Let's cook them for about 30 seconds once they are floating. And then you can take a spoon and um, remove them from the water. Now I'm adding a little bit of olive oil just so they don't stick together too much. You can actually make these ahead of time and have them in a fridge and just enjoy them with your soup during the week. And that's how you make these uh, yummy and really easy dumplings. Now we can add them to the soup. And that's how you make this delicious and really easy mushroom soup with flour dumplings. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.